Uh, in this video, we're going to look at a, a real-world problem, like a word problem, dealing with piecewise functions. So um, number 12 is super simple. All right, and your parents are giving you money based on the number of points you score in the basketball game. Up to seven points, you're not getting any money. Okay, so let's see, money. So I'm going to make a money function, so I'm going to call it m of x. Okay, so we're just setting up our piecewise function like you do. So um, right now we're getting no money, so that's zero dollars. Um, and the points are up to seven. So that means anything, uh, you know, well, you can't have negative points. So I'm going to say between zero points and seven points. Okay. So pay special attention to whether or not I'm putting an equal to sign under things. All right, it is possible to have exactly zero points. So I'm going to say equal to zero to include the zero in this situation. Um, if you get exactly seven points, according to the little story here, are you getting money or are you getting no money? No money. You're getting no money, up to seven points. Okay, so to me that means including the seven, you get no money. So I'm going to put the or equal to on that. Now. Um, more than seven points up to 15 points okay I'm gonna get ten dollars so I'm just gonna put ten dollars if so it's more than seven so I'm gonna say seven is less than I just won't put the equal to under it so um, it's between seven and fifteen alright so here's between seven and fifteen not including the 7 because that's zero dollars but including the 15 because it says up to 15 and then um, the next level of money is twenty dollars and you get that if we are more than 15 points okay so if our points are greater than 15 so again I do not put the equal to sign on it because it's strictly more than 15 not equal to 15 um, so that's what what you do. Any questions on number 12? Okay. Um, number 13, another real world situation. Um, when a diabetic takes a long acting insulin, the insulin reaches its peak effect on the blood sugar level in about three hours. This effect um, remains fairly constant for five hours, then declines, and is very low until the next injection. In a typical patient, the level of insulin might be modeled by the following function on the right. All right, so here we have a, a function where T is um, the number of hours after the injection. So T is time in hours. Okay, and uh, it's going to give us the um, amount of insulin in the blood. Okay, so if a patient takes insulin at 6 a.m., we want to know how much um, insulin is going to be uh, in their blood. Um, well, we want to know what their blood sugar level is at these times of day. So you need to do a very small little math, um, you know, by looking at the time. If it's 7 a.m., it's a matter of how many hours have gone by. Okay, from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., how many hours have elapsed? All right, that's one hour. Okay, so that's the main thing, is for translate each one of these cases into a T value. So at 7 a.m., that's a time of one hour. Um, at 11 a.m., okay, so from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m., how many hours have gone by? Five. Okay, so five hours have elapsed at that point. Okay, what about 3 p.m.? Nine hours. Okay, that's nine hours, okay. And then, so at 5 p.m.? Eleven. That's 11 hours. So that was the toughest part. Once you translated all these times of day into 
numbers of hours after, since the injection, then now we can just look at the, um, the function. Okay, so the function tells us that, um, you know, between zero and three hours, we, it's, we use this part of the formula and so on. So, for this first part, maybe I'll start using my colors now. For this first part, um, time of one hour, that's going to be in this, this pink zone right here. That's between zero and three hours. That tells me to use this part of the function right here. 40t plus 100. So that tells me to go 40 times 1 plus 100. So that's going to be 140. Okay. Now at the next one, the t value is 5. Whoops, I didn't mean to move that. Alright, the t value of 5 is going to be in this zone between 3 and 8. So that tells us that it's simply 220. So you just write 220, that's it. Okay, when t is 9, well that's between 8 and 10. So that puts us in this zone. That tells us to use this part of the function. Alright, so that's negative 80 t. So that's negative 80 times 9 plus 860. All right, what does that turn out to be? Negative 720 plus 360. What's that? 860, which is 140. 140. All right, and finally, um, a t value of 11. Yeah, a t value of 11, that puts us in this zone right here, so that tells us that it's going to simply be 60.